massive wealth indicators using the ninth lord the ninth lord of your horoscope it shows your bhagya luck fortune prosperity well but what is luck fortune prosperity that depends on everybody's definition right for somebody it's becoming a billionaire for somebody maybe it's to get married somebody maybe it's to have good health but in general if you have these placements how many of these at least four or five then you are destined for massive wealth and in the dasha of planets sitting in the ninth or the ninth lords dasha mahadasha antar dasha pratyantar you will get gain massive wealth all right you will either get it or you will i mean you will get it from somewhere somebody comes and gives it to you or luck works for you or you just go and you you just find it very easily okay so ninth house makes things easier so this is one definition of luck what is the ninth house the two houses 9 and 11 these two houses they are showing the past life merits so whatever donations you have given in your previous lifetimes whatever good you have done for others that is coming back to you in this lifetime just like your sins also all right so therefore if you have four or five or more of these placements then you are blessed all right and congratulations and please let me know down in the comments which one of the 10 do you have or if somebody is very rich around you which other combinations that you have seen in their horoscope all right excited to see your comments number 1 ninth lord in the lagna well placed not in debility or enemy sign or you know <laughs> not in a precarious position now what does this mean this means the ninth lord should be in your lagna charts first house in the bhava chalit chart not the lagna chart the bhava chalit chart if you don't know bcc then please go to exotic astrology and type bhava chalit b h a v a c h a l i t c h a r t you will find it so if you see the ninth lord is in the first house and it is in a good dignity means it is either exalted or it is in a friend sign no or even if neutral is fine but if exalted or friend sign or moon trigon or own sign even better okay now this is a situation where good things are coming to you naturally so it's like somebody calling you up and saying and okay do you want this all right and you say yes <laughs> now if saturn is aspecting that planet you may say no okay so uh, could be foolish sometimes so if uh, it is unafflicted and not in a bad sign for that particular plan then it is one of the best combinations to have and congratulations if you have this but it's very difficult to find a planet in a chart which is not afflicted by you know saturn rahu ketu or anybody number 2 9th lord in 10th and 10th lord in the 9th this is dharma karva dipati yoga or 9th lord 10th lord conjunct anywhere in the horoscope okay preferably in the first 10th or 11th fantastic position if you have this as per parashar muni this is the greatest of all yugas that you can have and you will be maximizing your entire potential because ninth house shows your vision and 10th house shows your execution okay so therefore vision and execution are together success is success is uh, the inevitable <laughs> now Ninth Lord, this is number three. Ninth Lord in the eleventh. This is not conjunct the eleventh. Okay, this has to be specifically in the eleventh. And along with this, if you have the number seven in your date of birth, okay, so either you are born in July or you know nineteen seventies uh, or sixty seven, fifty seven, two thousand seven, or your basic number is seven, which means you are born on seventh or sixteenth or twenty fifth. or your entire date of birth when you sum it up it comes to 7 that's your destiny number so if you have this uh, then and you have ninth lord in 11 you are blessed thing the doors will open up for you like like as if it never existed okay so if you have this this is hands down one of the best 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 placements and if you have numerology 7 or even better your destiny number is 7 the rest is history <laughs> number 4 ninth lord's dispositor is either exalted or in kendra or even better if it is in a mahapurush yoga right 
So ninth lord's dispositor. So suppose your ninth lord uh, is sitting in Taurus, then dispositor is Venus. So dispositor is the lord of the sign where the planet is placed. Okay. So if the dispositor is well placed in uh, you know Kendra or it is exalted or even better, as I said in Mahapurush Yoga, you know, the five Mahapurush Yogas, then this is phenomenal. This shows whatever you earn will stay with you. For many people they earn, but it's all gone. Okay, so if you belong to this category, then you will not just earn. Your wealth will be intact. You will not lose it. Okay, this is very, very, very important. This is also one of the indicators of fortune. Number five, ninth lord of your lagna chart is well placed in the navamsha, preferably in the trines. So if the ninth lord of your D1 is in the 5th or ninth house of the Navamsha jar, then also this shows whatever blessings you are destined to get in this life, these blessings are protected. This is very similar to the previous placement, okay? So even if your dispositor is not well placed, but if the ninth lord is well placed in the Navamsha chart, preferably in 5th or ninth, then it shows... You will keep what you make. Okay, so another fantastic position. Number six, ninth lord aspected by Jupiter. Your fortune is magnified. Aspected by Jupiter. Fantastic. Guru has three aspects. Five, seven and nine, right? So many aspects. So anywhere the aspect is falling, an aspect should be taken from the Lakna chart, not from the Bhav Chalit chart, all right? So if Guru is aspecting your ninth lord or sometimes it can also work if guru is aspecting your ninth house but primarily your ninth lord then the doors will open up for you it is like unbelievable how it happens but it will happen guru and ninth lord guru is the karaka for the ninth house okay i mean unbelievable this is it's like you have many 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 pious credits of your previous lifetimes okay next Ninth Lord's Nakshatra Lord associated with the Lagna or 10th or 11th. This, this is number one. This is the best among all the 10. This is number one. This I should have written in number one. <laughs> so, suppose your ninth Lord is in Ashwini Nakshatra. Okay. So, who's the Nakshatra Lord of Ashwini? It's Ketu. So, where is Ketu placed? Is Ketu in the first house, 10th house or 11th house of the Bhav Chali chart? then this is like you, you you can become a millionaire or a billionaire with this, okay? This is something which I have seen all the time. And along with this, in your numerology, if you have the number 9, number 5, number 7, all these numbers, ooh, wealth is like, well, wealth is like a hobby for you. <laughs> Creating wealth is not your work anymore. No? It's like, it's like having fun, you know, it's your... You love to make money and you also make it. <laughs> so this is the best crest jewel of all placements. Nakshatra Lord in the first 10th, 11th. That's it. The deal is sealed. Number 8. Ninth Lord conjunct natural benefits like Jupiter, Moon, Mercury, Venus. Okay. So this is fantastic because if Ninth Lord is conjunct natural benefits, good people come to you. Of course, I mean, it depends on the world chart. If you know it's afflicted or whatever, you know, then, then there are problems, okay, even if there are benefits. But suppose your ninth lord is only with the natural benefits and no other afflictions by natural malefics, then it means your fortune is uninterrupted and people are coming and giving it to you. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. They're just giving it to you. It's like, yeah, the... It's there with you. You don't even have to walk. It's there with you 24 hours. All right. So, congratulations if you have this. Number nine. Ninth Lord unaffected by natural malefics. Sun, Mars, Saturn, Rahu, Ketu. This, this in itself is not a combination for massive wealth, but it it is a combination for massive wealth if it is there and other things are supportive because this is very difficult to find. You know, imagine you find the ninth lord in a chart which is not, you know, combust, not uh, afflicted by Mars, Saturn, Rahu, Ketu, not conjunct aspect, you know, in no way 
okay uh, to find a nine plot in the horoscope who is unafflicted by conjunction or as aspects of natural malefics is very 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 difficult so this means whatever your fortune is whatever by destiny you will do very good with it okay so if you are destined to be a mediocre you know employee then you'll do very good good, good with it okay there, there's nobody who will come and you know like abuse you and you know take away your wealth okay or if you are destined to be a you no know, billionaire you will still be you know, people won't come and run after your money okay so this shows your luck is uninterrupted and you are you you are doing well in life basically okay if this is there last but not the least the ninth lord and his friend who is the friend of the ninth lord of course the fifth lord right so if in a horoscope the lords of the ninth and the fifth both not just one associate with the lagna lord then this is massive then this shows that the person has clarity in life the person knows what he or she wants to do in life and the person is relentless because then the person is self inspired Who, whoever has lagneesh aspected or conjunct the lords of the fifth and the ninth both okay the person does not need anybody to tell him or her what to do the person knows okay and if this is unafflicted by natural malefics this is like the cherry on the top so this is a fantastic position because you exactly know what you should do in life and that means you have a vision and if you walk towards it you will be very successful you will get get massive wealth all right thank you so much for your patience don't forget to hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet subscribed already god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will help you irrespective of how many of these combinations you have in your chart for massive wealth all right for personalized consultations my website is down below all right please take care jai siyaram